Hello everybody, happy Easter weekend. Last week I did a video on mouse proof in my pool table because the mice had got up during winter through the pockets and they chewed some of my felt. Luckily they hadn't chewed the bed but they just chewed a bit of the felt on the cushions. Um, so I did that video on mouse proof in that. So I was thinking about it in bed that night after I'd done it and one of the awkward things about having this pool table in or having this top on this pool table is I'm normally on my own when I lift it off and I've no way really to store it in here so wherever I put it it sort of gets in the way so I will try to think of um, one an easier way to take the top off and two somewhere to store it when I've taken it off so I think I've come up with a bit of a solution so that's what I'm going to try and make today I'm going to try and make this table for my pull table because it is quite heavy easier to take on and off as a one-man job and somewhere to store it when I'm using it as a pool table and not a, and not a table. Uh, and then another added feature that I've thought of, I'm gonna add that on at the end. So hopefully, it should be quite a good video. Hope you enjoy. Although it is quite heavy. It's heavier than I thought in my mind. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. And see if it works. So basically what I'm going to use, because I like to use things I've got, I've got these little table um, brackets. What, what they would normally do is, that would screw into the bottom of the table like that and that would sit on the metal leg and it would just hold the table slightly off the leg. So I've got four of them. But what I need to do is cut a bit of an opening in here and smooth it off so that it's like, um, so it's more of a rounded edge than that square edge that you can see there. Right, I've got four of them. I'm just going to thread this paracord through. I'm going to start with a good end. Uh, now I'm going to thread this paracord through. Uh, I'm just going to put... I'm going to leave... Pla I don't know how much I'm going to need at this end. So I'm just going to put a nice big loop on it there. And then, I'm unsure about what I need for the other side, so I'm just going to leave plenty. I'm going to leave more than I think I need. Right, I need some sort of hook to go in the table top that I can hook the paracord round. I didn't want to put a screw in there because that'll, it'll be sticking out and if anybody walks past, they're gonna catch themselves on it. So I've come up with this. It's one of them, I'm sorry, this. It's one of them things that they fit kitchens together with. So you put a, a cap on one side and a screw in the other, normally a longer screw than that. And then you'd, you'd screw them together and it would pull the two cabinet sides together so I've got one of those and a short stubby screw and I think that should be perfect so I'm just gonna drill a hole through there and that should be perfect So that's smooth enough, nobody's going to catch yourself on it. When I'm not using it, 
I can push it in and then when I want to use it I can just pop it out like that and that's bang on for the string to go onto I think once I get these tight and strapped up properly it should pull it straight Really right, that's my idea. It works. Just needs a bit of modifying. <laughs> Nip down to B&M Bargains as a bit of an afterthought. I knew the day they did these LED lights. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fasten these LEDs to the bottom of the table so that when I lift it up, I can switch the lights on so then I've got lights shining down on the pool table because I've not got a lot of light in this side of my bar. Right, I've finished and it's working. Uh, I've had to make a couple of changes because this top is so heavy um, I was struggling to, to pull the rope and pull it up at the same time um, and it, it, didn't, it didn't make it any easier than flipping it off uh, by myself so I, I, I'm aware of pulley systems and stuff like that how you can lift heavy loads by uh, putting a pulley system on there so I was watching some YouTube videos last night on pulley systems and what you can get is something called the mechanical advantage now I haven't used pulleys, I've still used the same brackets that I had and, and the same pieces in the bottom here. But what I have done, I've anchored the first string to the top, that comes down, goes round the uh, screw that I put in the top and then goes back up to the bracket I made and then comes out. And what that does, instead of using all your force so however heavy this top is plus the friction of the bracket is the force you need to lift this table because it's a double rope and you're pulling on two ropes apparently it halves the force you need so it's half as light so and it seems to work so i'm going to show you uh i'm going to show you it working Right, that's about it for a, an Easter bank holiday weekend. Um, the friction on these homemade brackets that I've made is still far too much. It's still taking too much effort to pull them and take them up. And, and I know it's the friction because when I let the tabletop down again, uh, it, it's not running away with itself. I'm not having to hold on to it to stop it going down. It's more or less just uh, coming down under its you know, I'm, I'm sort of feeding it through and, and it's coming it's coming down under its own weight but it's not falling if you know what I mean so I think with some pulley wheels it would just make the job a lot easier and probably, probably make that paracord last a little bit longer as well and less effort because I'm getting on a bit um, I've looked at them on um, Screwfix website I need four and they're about five quid so I think for the sake of 20 quid, it's, uh, it's going to make life a little bit easier for me. But 
that works, you know, and I've made that out of uh, stuff that I had, so useless to useful stuff that I had, uh, apart from the lights, but anyway, that's, that's another thing.